Hello, and thank you for joining us on Go Ed Tech Go to do lab 332, measuring lung capacity. We have our subject here. She's gonna help us with measuring lung capacity. Once we have all the volumes, then we are going to analyze that data. First thing we're gonna need is a Chromebook, LabQuest Mini. We have our spirometer here. You can see that we have a bacterial filter and a disposable mouthpiece. And this is only used by her, and so that is gonna make sure that she's safe. We're gonna look for the inlet portion of it, and she's gonna breathe into that. She's gonna take four normal breaths, one deep inhalation, one deep exhalation, and then two normal breaths, and then we'll find the volumes. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our Logger Pro. It's already set up for uh, lung volumes. So I'm going to change my time. We've figured out that about 30 seconds is about right. So we're gonna give it 35 just in case, and Press done, and now we're ready to go. So now I'm gonna ask her to go ahead and grab the spirometer. She's gonna put her elbows up on the table to brace herself to make sure she's not moving it around. If she moves it around, it's gonna change the airflow. She's gonna take four normal breaths, one really large breath in, one really large breath out, and then two normal breaths, and we're gonna have our data. So she's gonna start with an inhalation. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. And here we go. Breath in, big breath out. And there we are. We have our data. We can go back and analyze it and see how she did and what her lung volumes are. So welcome to 332 Measuring Lung Capacity. We have the data. And so uh, here's the introduction, which you know we can go over on our own. Here are the procedures, instructions. There is some information here about uh, specific things that we're going to measure. Tidal volume, as you can see, is the volume of air that you breathe in and out without conscious effort. So those first four breaths that the subject took, um, try to have a relaxed kind of state, just normal breathing. I know it's hard to do normal breathing, when you're thinking about it, but that is your tidal volume, which you take in and out without a conscious effort. A conscious effort. So we also have the inspiratory reserve volume. Um, and this inspiratory reserve is the additional volume of air that could be inhaled with a maximum effort after normal inspiration. So we had the subject take a deep breath in and deep breath out. So we're gonna measure the difference between what we normally take in and uh, what is taken in as we take in a really big breath. Expiratory reserve is just the opposite of that. It's what we forcefully exhale after normal exhalation. And then you can see here as we work through the vital capacity, uh, the vital capacity is the total volume of air that can be exhaled after maximal inhalation. So there's a little bit left in there. Um, we're gonna take our tidal volume, plus our inspiratory reserve, plus our ERV, our expiratory reserve, and that's gonna give us our vital capacity. Residual volume is the volume of air remaining in the lungs after maximum exhalation. Uh, this, is, this is given on the chart, so we're not gonna really worry too much about that. Total lung volume capacity is the total volume of the lungs, um, and at, that is the sum of the vital capacity, which we found here using our TV, IRV, and ERV from up here, uh, plus our residual volume, which was given. And then we're gonna find our minute volume, the volume of air breathed in one minute without conscious effort. So that's gonna be our, our minute volume, MV, is gonna equal our TV, our total, our, I'm sorry, tidal volume um, times the number of breaths per minute. So. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So all of these here are just instructions on how to do what I did in the video. Um, our graph is going to look a little something like this. And what we're going to do is this is kind of a good reference point for you. So you can see these regular breaths in here are what we call our tidal volume. And so you're going to see that on the graph. Um, and so let's look at tidal volume. And those were we had four regular breaths. So our tidal volume for our individual 
we're going to fill in the individual portion here. And then I'm going to give you some data on uh, last year's class average for males and class average for females. And you can go ahead and fill that in. But I'm going to show you how to do this individual one. And then I'll give you some of this information here later on. So let's look at the tidal volume. Here is our uh, measuring lung capacity. The first thing that you need to know is that we need to change this from flow rate to volume. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to determine how much volume of air is brought in during this tidal volume, during normal breath. So this is in liters. We're going to keep it in liters there. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to measure that. So uh, just to double check, we're in liters on volume. I'm going to go to the very top peak up here, uh, the very top here. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to drag it to where I think the lowest spot is. And then I am going to hit view statistics. And you can see right down here, the delta Y, delta means change in. So this is our change in volume. And so we have 0 0.58, 0 0.58. Now we can do these for all four of them and get an average, which probably would be a little bit better. But for this, let's just keep uh, with what we're doing here, 0.58 liters. And so I'm gonna go back to my document here. 0 0.58, I'm going to leave it there. And then we're going to find our inspiratory reserve. And so in order to do that, let's go back to the document. Here is my, I'm sorry, here's my inspiratory reserve. I'm just going to refresh your memory as we go. So it's the additional volume of air that can be inhaled with maximum effort at normal inspiration. So what can be taken in? So as we move through here, I'm going to show you a inspiratory reserve. Okay. So right here, this is my normal, the top peak here to the top peak of the big breath is going to be my inspiratory reserve. So let's do this. Let's go to, this is my top peak. So let's get rid of this one. My top peak here to my top peak up here. And we're going to hit view statistics. And it says that my inspiratory reserve is going to be 5.495. Now we can round that. Let's round that to uh, 5.50. We're going to put that in our document. 5.50. And again, these are liters. I'm going to look at my expiratory reserve. And if I look back here, my expiratory reserve is from the bottom of one of these normal breaths, my tidal volume, down to the bottom of the biggest breath. So I'm going to look at my lowest here. That was where I'm going to, I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to go to the bottom of this normal breath. These are the ones that I took, the two that I took after, or she took after. And I'm going to hit view statistics. And that's going to give me 1.764. So let's round it to 1.76. Go back here and go to 1.76. Oops, seven, six. Make sure we get that accurate. And that's liters. So I'm going to get my vital capacity. And how do I do that? So if I go back up here, it says vital capacity. Vital capacity is going to be my tidal volume, right? My ER or IRV and my ERV. So I'm going to add all of these together. So let's go down here to the bottom. We don't have to go back to that chart that we made. So I'm going to take these and add all of these up and we're going to get a vital capacity. And so if I take on my calculator, what do I have? 0.58 plus my inspiratory reserve, which is 5.5, plus my expiratory reserve, 1.76, I'm going to get my vital capacity. And for this, I have a total of 7.84, okay? Now the residual volume is given, and now I wanna find my total lung capacity. And so I'm gonna go up here to the top, and I'm just going to remind myself what total lung capacity is. So my total lung capacity is going to be my VC, which we just found, plus my 
residual volume. So I'm going to take my VC plus my residual volume, these two here, and that's going to give me my total lung volume. So I'm going to take my 7.84 and I'm going to add uh, my 1.5 and I'm going to come up with a total lung capacity of 9.34. Okay. Now, this is the information I have. Now, minute volume is going to be a little bit different. Minute volume is going to come from this. It's going to ask me how much volume, how much air is breathed in in one minute without conscious breath, uh, conscious effort. So I'm going to take my TV, okay, so my tidal volume, times the number of breaths per minute. And so let's look back here, and we're going to use this as a rough estimate. So remember, I took four breaths, or she took four breaths, one, two, three, four, big breath, five, six, seven, okay, about seven and a half in 30 seconds, okay, so in 30 seconds, seven and a half, that means in one minute, it's somewhere around 15. Now, I know that there's a big breath here, uh, but we're going to just use this as kind of our standard, so 15 breath breaths per minute, and if I do that, 15 breaths per minute. So 15, remember the way to do this, I'm gonna go back here. I'm just gonna put 15 in here so we remember. Times, and here's our minute volume again, times the, the tidal volume. Okay, so times the number of breaths. So tidal volume in here, we had 0.58. I'm just putting this in here so you get a visual. We're going to do that math. And 15 times 0.58 equals 8.7 liters. Okay. Now, I'm going to put in the description below, I'm going to put in some data tables that are going to have a class average for males class average for females. I'm going to have it do all of the calculations for you. And you're going to have to go through here and just put in the information here on your own. And then we'll look at a comparison between males and females. Um, and um, we're going to compare it to this individual. Now, I know you can't do it on your own. So you're going to use yourself as this particular individual.